Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we will discuss synthesis using NAND or NOR gates. We will cover this topic in two parts. Today we will be discussing the part 1 of this topic. Let us suppose a function of four variables f a b c d which is given as f a b c d is equal to summation of m 2 3 8 10 12 we have to find out the minimized expression of this function since the function is expressed in terms of min terms so we can express this function in the sum of products form. For this first we will draw the k map of this function. We will get the k map as shown in the figure 1 and figure 2. From figure 1 we find that the min terms are present at 2, 3, 8, 10 and 12. So we have drawn the k map accordingly. Now from figure 1 we find that these two ones are involved in a two grouping combination. Similarly these two ones will also make a two group combination. Now this one can make a combination either with 2 or with 8. So we can combine either m8 plus m10 or m2 plus m10. In the first figure we are taking the grouping of m10 with m2. So we will get the k map as shown in the figure 1. Similarly if we combine m10 with m8 we will get the k map as shown in the figure 2. Now if we express the function in the figure 1 in the sum of product form we will get the expression f a b c d is equal to a bar c bar d bar plus a bar b bar c plus b bar c d bar. Similarly, if we take the k map as shown in the figure 2, we will get the expression as f a b c d is equal to a c bar d bar plus a bar b bar c plus a b bar d bar. Both are correct because in both of the figures, we find that the sum of product form involves three terms involving each term involving three variables. Now we can implement this function using gates. The implementation of the function in figure 1 will be as shown in this figure. that is this is the implementation of the function of figure 1 that is to implement this function we will need three AND gates and one OR gate. Similarly we can either implement this function using figure 2 which will be as shown here. This will also be implemented by using three AND gates and one OR gate. So, Figure 3 shows the two level and or gate system. So we find that if we synthesize a logical function in the sum of products form, its physical realization consists of a number of AND gates followed by a single OR gate as shown in the figure 3. Any input variable is transmitted first through an AND gate. Hence, AND gate is described as being at the first level and after that it goes through the OR gate. So, OR gate is at the second level. The structure which is shown in the figure 3 is therefore referred to as a two level AND OR gate system. Similarly, if we synthesize a given function in the product of some form we will again arrive at a two level OR AND structure 
where the input gates are OR gates and the second level is an AND gate. The two level gate systems are generally used because they are easy to design. Also, if there are fewer levels, the propagation time through the structure will be smaller as compared to the system with more the with more levels that's all in this in this class we will discuss the rest in the next part